This is what movies are all about. Entertainment. Movies hold memories. Hey there everybody, how's it going? It's just another wee video to talk about a classic movie here that was released on the Criterion Collection here. This is the special 2K restoration of the cult classic documentary film by the Maisels brothers, Albert and David Maisels, Grey Gardens from 1975. Well, Grey Gardens is considered a, a masterpiece of the the documentary genre as we know it today, the direct cinema as a one of the original kind of films like this, one of the very first intimate portrayals like this on documentary and in an age where um, reality shows and documentary stuff on TV about oh, really some pointless people that you can't really be bothered with, I tell you half the time, but in, a, in an age where that's it's all over the television, this, this groundbreaking documentary film came along and was the first of its kind and very few documentaries in their intimacy and of, of portraying a couple of people's lives have come close to a film like this and it's definitely quite rightly considered a classic. I think the love for this film, I said 1975, it says 1976 here but I'm sure it's released in 75 but never mind. Um, yeah, it tells the story of Mrs. Beale, Big Edie, and Little Edie, mother and daughter, who live in this mansion in the Hamptons and East Hampton in New York, and it's a pretty decaying, disgusting old place where there's cat feces, they live among cat feces and piss, everything, everything's just rotten away and they're threatening to be evicted. The their rich neighbours around the area are not very happy with them and they're actually relations to Jackie Kennedy, or what was her surname? Jackie Onassis? What was her name? Jackie Kennedy. But yeah, they were. She was a first cousin of Jackie Kennedy, and they were. She was a socialite. She was a party girl. They were in high society. They were rich. Her father was owner of a, a big law firm. And but where did it all go wrong? Where where what what brought them to this stage to be living here? Well, Albert and David Maisel spent six weeks with them one, was it a summer? Over summer, sort of months? They spent six weeks with them filming them, their everyday life, and it's a very intimate portrayal on documentary, and it's very, very interesting and intriguing, and it's it's rather beautiful, and it's, it's my type of documentary for sure. I believe in the whole direct cinema and letting the magic happen on screen, and try not to ask too many questions or prompt too many questions in conversation just try and let it happen naturally even if it's instigated by a question or in conversation and just recent just recently albert mazel passed away which i was sad about because for me albert mazel is very inspirational into the work the kind of work i'm interested in and i think he said something about um documentary film it's documentary photography and film it's his way of making the world a better place in his way and I, I, I kind of I take on that kind of thinking as well I, I always say to myself I'm trying to make the world a better place in the best way I know how and it's sharing stories and inspiration and meeting people and trying to trying to express yourself in the best way you know how by film if it's film if you're telling a story about somebody else or yourself well this great addition this is the best this film's ever looked and you would have seen maybe old DVDs or VHS copies, but this it looks it looks fantastic. There's also the follow up from 2006, The Beals of Grey Gardens. That's also on this. The, the follow up is basically the obviously they got hours and hours of footage when they filmed them for six weeks, and it's basically footage that never made it into the original film. So it's a follow up documentary, The Beals of Grey Gardens, which is a great addition to this as well. This. Criterion Collection Special Edition features new 2K digital film restoration approved by Albert Maisels with uncompressed monaural soundtrack. Digital transfer of The Beals of Grey Gardens approved by Maisels with the uncompressed soundtrack as well. There's an audio commentary featuring Maisels as long as, as long, along with the co-directors Ellen Hovd and Muffy Meyer. That's a dodgy name, Muffy Meyer. <laughs> sorry, sorry Muffy, but Muffy Meyer, I wasn't expecting that. And associate producer Susan Frumke. There's an, a nice introduction by Albert Mezels to the Beals of Grey Gardens talking about 
some of the footage that wasn't included and what exactly Bales of Grey Gardens is. There's audio excerpts from a 1976 interview with little little Lady Beale. Interviews with fashion designers Todd Oldham and John Bartlett on, on the continuing influence of Grey Gardens. Believe it or not, Little Lady is a, a fashion icon. People say, oh, they were, were they mentally ill or were they crazy or they were just... They're, they're not normal, but they're certainly not abnormal. They are people, they are human beings, but they're, they've got a different way of seeing things. And they're definitely very intriguing and interesting characters. And it's a bit of a love story, this documentary, between mother and daughter. And I always found it really intriguing. There's also behind-the-scenes photographs, plus trailers, and also there's a wee essay in the middle here. This design, this booklet's designed on the same... It's a, there's a wee booklet, it's like a horoscope. Yeah, it's a horoscope or astrology or horoscope book that young Edie is actually reading in the film and it's the same the same cover there. And this has got a, that essay, as I was telling you about, by Hilton Owls and it's quite interesting to read too. Anyways, if you're interested in documentary film, Grey Gardens is definitely one of the most critically acclaimed and most famous documentaries out there and it's, it's reaching a bit a different audience now that we've got releases like this on Criterion Collection and films like this should be treasured and they're definitely, the type, these type of films are definitely inspiring to people like myself who is trying to create, create stories and find stories out there and tell stories and share inspiration and make documentary films, that's my dream and something like Grey Gardens is, is definitely something to measure yourself up against. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and check out Grey Gardens on the Criterion Collection if you can and we'll speak again soon I'm sure.